Hello fellow Rosarians. Thanks for joining me today for another unboxing. This is actually the second unboxing that I'm going to do today. Um, I'll link that other video down below that we did. We just reviewed Brex Nursery. Um, so in my previous unboxings that we've done, I've discussed small business, buying local, and it's really important to me, as well as those growers that you support them. In the event that you can't find that special rose that you're looking for, and you can find it from a larger company, a catalog company, um, then by all means, we need to get the roses that we want. So I wanted to put together a comprehensive uh, video series to be able to show you everything that I could get my hands on in the United States in the event that you're considering um, going with any of these growers. So we are going to review Edmunds roses. Um, when you go to the Edmunds site, it is very easy to use. Um, they have over a hundred uh, different roses and their roses are one uh, grade one and they are two-year-old roses mm -hmm. so when you order from Edmonds um, you are not going to have that small um, personal relationship with that grower on the phone and as I have mentioned in the past I really enjoy when I call any of the growers that I work with I've ordered so many times from David Austin Palatine, Ragan, and I get to know the people and we have some laughs and they laugh at how silly I am that I want to talk roses all the time. So it's, uh, I enjoy buying from people that are passionate about roses and they feel the same way about it that I do. And so it's harder for me to consider buying from a mail order company um, that has a catalog and they don't have that customer relationship where when I call them on the phone, I have no idea who I'm talking to. And that goes for Edmonds also, um, that when you call Edmonds, they're not a small business. Um, you're not going to speak to the same person on the phone every time you call, but they've got great customer service. Every time I reached out through email or phone, they were responsive. So um, when we look at the cost when you're looking at roses from Edmonds, they break down to about $35 per rose. They offer $14 shipping on everything. So I could have 100 roses in there, at least that's the way that I read it, and it's still going to be $14. In the event that you place your order before February, some date, shipping is free, so you're going to save that $14. I didn't see any other coupons online, um, but uh, just take all of that into account while you're making your uh, list of who you want to buy from. And they use either USPS or FedEx Ground. They don't let you specify which you, if you have a preference, they're just going to choose. Um, their guarantee is in the same year that you buy your roses, so here we are in March, it's only good until August. If I had bought those roses in June, the warranty is only good till August. That same for July 20th, it's only good until August 1st of that same season that you've bought your roses. So just be aware of that. Um, so in this unboxing, I'm expecting uh, four roses. Oh, and I did want to add, this only took two days to arrive. Um, so really fast shipping. Um, but I'm expecting four roses that are grade one. So let's go ahead and see what's in here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Okay. So this bag, it's still not as sealed as I'm used to, depending on how far your roses have to travel. This would be a little bit of a concern for me because normally when you get your bare root roses from other growers, their the bag is completely enclosing your, um, your bare roots to keep everybody um, moisturized. So let's look at these roots. So this is the first time for me that I've bought from a rose grower and it's got um, some kind of insulation in here, just a little messy. Um, I'm not sure what that's about. Um, let's see. Okay. Okay. So we are looking to see if this is a grade one rose and I can see one, two, three. 
um, that are larger than, um, than th a pencil. I'm just looking at something that I'm kind of seeing on the back of this one that I'm going to want to watch. It looks like, um, I don't know if it happened in uh, transit. Otherwise, this rose looks fine. The roots are dry. Um, so I'm going to have to get this one in, in water right away. Um, but it looks like it's trying to break, break dormancy. And this one is easy does it. I'll go ahead and tell you about uh, that rose in a second. Okay, this one. Yeah, all of these roots are dry. Um, this is ebb tide. Um, let's look at the um, definitely a grade one rose. It's got uh, several canes that are larger. In fact, almost all of them except for this one are larger than a pencil. It's already trying to break dormancy. Um, everything looks good here on the crown. I guess my only concern so far is that the roots are dry. Um, the roses are very resilient, so I'm sure that they're going to be fine, especially when they get this little spa bath I've got going on for them here. Um, but let's see. This is Moonlight in Paris. And I'll talk about that one in a minute. Um, just older canes here, but everything looks good. It's definitely a grade one rose. I'm counting one, two, three, four that are larger than a pencil. This one's close, um, but everything else looks really good on this. Um, okay. Okay, this one is Anna's Promise. Same issue again with the roots, very dry. Um, I think the canes look good on this, breaking dormancy. So I've got all of them, one, two, three, four, five canes that are larger than, um, larger than a pencil. Last one. This is Sensuous. Um, this one looks, let's see, looks good. I've got uh, larger than a pencil, about the same size as a pencil. And then this one here looks larger than, oh, and sorry, <laughs> this glaring one here looks good. So I think we're good here too. So yes, I agree. All of the roses, definitely grade one roses. They all look healthy. My only concern is that they're dry. And I mean, it's any of the literature that you're going to read says, whatever you do, do not let your uh, bare roots dry out. So let's see what happens here. Let's talk about, um, we, we talked about the warranty on these. So I'll be watching them really close up until August to make sure that, um, that they don't have any issues. And that's where your tracking spreadsheet could come in helpful for you when you start to add more and more roses to your garden. If you're keeping a tracking spreadsheet of um, who you bought it from, when the warranty period is up so that you can kind of remind yourself as you're going through that when you need to, you know, be walking around to look at all of your roses to make sure that they um, are still thriving. So let's see what we've got here. I'm going to tell you about the roses real quick and then I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, pop them up here on the screen. So Anna's Promise. When I first saw Anna's Promise, I was I loved it. I love the color, but I was apprehensive because of the height. I just don't have things in my garden right now that really my average height is about four foot on my roses. So Anna's Promise is a tall one. It's by Tom Carruth and it gets up to at least six foot. And of course, if you're in a warmer area, you need to keep in mind that whatever helped me find Dot com says the height is if you're a warmer like a zone tenor um, it could even be taller than that um, so I'm here in 7b and I'm hoping that it just gets to six foot so that it doesn't uh, uh, grow out of the place that I've, I've thought of putting it um, it's golden tan with a pink blush and copper reverse and the scent is reminiscent of grapefruit and fresh cut apples which is interesting though that's what they said on the uh, the order site. Um, but when you go to uh, help me find, it says there's no fragrance. So we'll come back in a couple months and I'll check on that. If I forget, please remind me um, to let you know if it has scent. Um, Easy Does It is a Floribunda by Harkness. It's got swirling shades of mango orange, peach pink, and a honey apricot form. Um, it's ruffled and it has a moderately fruity fragrance and it is excellent. Oh, and I forgot to mention um, Anna's Promise is good for the rating on it. Um, so Easy Does It is excellent. 
Ebb Tide is a Floribunda by Tom Carruth, and it's a deep plum purple. And I've seen pictures of it where it's almost so deep that it almost looks black. So I'm real excited to have that against my Twilight and see how um, they look together. Um, let's see, it has deep plum purple washed with a haze of sultry smoke. The blooms are double and it's an old fashioned form. It has a spicy clove fragrance so powerful that it narrowly bowls you over awesome <laughs> it's ranked good plus on helpmefind.com uh, two more so moonlight in paris it's by delbard um, it's a delicate blend of light apricot pink it's moderate fruit and uh, moderately fruity spiced fragrance uh, it's excellent according to help me find.com. Uh, another excellent rose is Sensuous, and it's by a Floribunda by Evers. Uh, it's light pink. It's got a strong clove damask and honey fragrance. Um, so all roses that I'm looking forward to sharing with you when we do our tours this summer, um, and you get to see how everything is uh, blooming. So let's talk about the rack and stack. Um, I've been reviewing all of the unboxings that I'm doing, and to make it easier for you to make your decision in the fall or the spring when you're ordering, um, I'm putting the analysis that what if I buy 10 roses from this grower with all the coupons that I can find online and the shipping, what is it gonna cost? So when we rack and stack this against all of the other uh, growers that we've bought from so far this year, um, this one ends up being the least expensive. So Edmonds Roses ended up costing $265 for 10 roses. Um, they offer free shipping over $50. I couldn't find any coupons. Um, and so $265 per, uh, for this one. Next would be Raft Island Roses, and I'll go ahead and post up uh, the rest of the analysis for you. Um, so please join me as we continue to do unboxings. I'm expecting uh, a few more shipments next week, and I've got one more catalog company I'm ordering from, and then we're going to go back to um, my small businesses that I love so much. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, I hope that you will like and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks.